For more info, go to operationgraduation.com. Empowerment with Dr. Josefina Monasterio. Welcome back to Empowerment with Dr. Josefina, and I'm Laura Gutridge. First off, we'd like to thank Bedazzled for providing Dr. Josefina with her lovely outfit. Thank you so much. They always do a wonderful job giving her outfits to choose, and I love that one. And you have some sparkles on your body, oh, too, oh, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> She's sparkling all over today. Oh, boy. Um, I like the lesson today, enjoying your life. And you start off when I read the lesson, you say that we should be focused with life and don't go through life shooting in the dark because things are just going to go by so fast if you if you do that. And you know, I thought about my own life, and I do. I like I sh kind of shoot through my days doing these like demeaning tasks day mm -hmm. in and day out. It's very ritualistic, and I always remember something my dad said about work. He's like, "Well, it'll be there when you're dead, you know. So it's not like you can yes, you know, get this work done for good. I mean, the work is always. So you have to enjoy your life. Yes, and um. And you talk about you know, when we're focused on, and you're talking about being focused on enjoying life, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Just like you would be focused on, you know, uh, your career or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, enjoyment is something we should also focus on. Yes, because sometimes you you're in a situation that you're supposed to be having fun, but you're thinking about doing the laundry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're not enjoying here. You you right. doing the mentally you you doing the laundry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're not never in the present moment. Mm -hmm. So we have to be here now. Right. And then also, you know, even when we do have that free moment, we got to check the emails, check the voicemail. Like you said, Twitter this, Twitter that. Space. Face me book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I remember a couple weeks ago, my Facebook account, like, crashed or something. And I couldn't get on there. I, could, I couldn't respond to things. And uh -huh. it was driving me crazy. Yeah. You were like, panicking. It, well, it's terrible. I need to be connected. I need yeah. to be connected. Uh, Who cares? Right. You know, it, it, it's an obsession that um, we really could live without. Um, we t you also talk about how life goes, the older we get, the quicker life seems to go by. Because um, I remember being young, summers lasted forever. Mm -hmm. Now they're gone like within a flash. Mm -hmm. And I think it is because of this hurry up and wait syndrome that you, you talk about. And um, even when you say we're, if you're stuck in traffic, you have to try to somehow enjoy that. Yes. I was in Taco Bell oh, and I was you stuck. Doing Taco Bell? I love bean burritos. <laughs> my favorite fast food. It's my only fast food. But I was stuck in the drive through line and I couldn't get out. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get out because the line was taking too long. I literally had road rage Yay. in the Taco Bell line. And I, um, here my, you know how the physiology mm -hmm. races and I thought, mm -hmm. is, it, is a bean burrito really worth my physical stress that I, the, that I was putting my body through? So what is the answer to that question? I, well, what, what is the answer? Do yeah. you sit there in line and, and meditate? What? <laughs> mm, my bean burritos. <laughs> To do. I needed to put in one of Dr. Josefina's meditation CDs. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's like you there is stuck in the line. Mm -hmm. What are you going to go? I mean, you're not going to get mad like you did. I did. didn't help you. Didn't make you life. Did the burrito came faster? Well, actually, I got out of line and I was just going to leave, but I ended up going inside and giving them a piece now, of my mind. Now, let me ask you this question. Did you enjoy that burrito if you didn't get mad? Uh, I, you know, I seem to really enjoy that burrito extra. It, it <laughs> thinking how silly, very silly. Because he was so hard to get. <laughs> yes, I had to work for that burrito. Um, but you talk about how you can have money, fame, houses, cars, but in the end, it's all someone else's me, you know, return to nothingness. Uh -huh. And that is a scary, scary thought, but it's a thought that we have to recognize. Absolutely. Because it makes you enjoy your life more, realizing that it's not something that's going to go on forever. You know, and once, once that moment, for instance, you have this beautiful, gorgeous girl called Celeste. Yes. Okay, she's precious. Mm -hmm. She's my favorite. <laughs> then you, with her, we're in the park with her, and th at that moment... She took her first steps to Josefina, by the way. Oh, my God. Wow. She's Sorry. adult. That's why I adore her because <laughs> she gave me something that she didn't give you a movie. That's right. Her first steps. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, we're there with her in the park. So we should, we're supposed to be there 100%. Mm -hmm. Not that we're going to be there and think, oh my God, I have to do this. I have to do that. I have mm -hmm. to go for shopping. No. It's that moment right now. Yes. Because once the moment, 
that instant is gone is forever. You That's not take that back. Mm -hmm. You can buy a new car, you can buy a new uh, house, or you can buy a new dress, but you never can bring back that moment, that instant. And that's what is, I call happy memories. You know, and you're so right about that. Sometimes I fantasize about just being able to go back in time mm -hmm. and like um, just- Undo. Yeah, go back to an event and ex re-experience it maybe in a different way, but you can't do it. it. Exactly. There's no going back. Exactly, and that's why it's so important mm -hmm. that we do it correctly the first time. Right. Once, once we have this knowledge to be in the present moment, to be in the here and now, so we don't waste time when we are in a, in a situation, no matter what, embrace it, love it, take it, assimilate it, you know, m you know, make it a part of your life because mm -hmm. that, those are your happy memories. And when you remember them and you look back, mm -hmm. what you do, you smile instead yes. of, oh, I should have done better. Right, like I didn't go to my senior prom and it haunts me. I, till this mm -hmm. day, I, you know, but my daughter, I hope to, you know, relive some of the moments that, and maybe that's a mistake mm -hmm. to do that, yeah. to, you know, expect your daughter. Robert is going, wrap it up. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting lost in my reminiscing. Mommy, <laughs> we're going to take a break and we'll be right back with a wonderful lesson. Thank you, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Empowerment with Dr. Josefina Monasterio.